What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are down at our main shop. Rodrigo is working on this Chevy that we threw the Everest plow frame on. He threw the plow on, he made hydraulic hoses for it and I think that's pretty much ready to go. Kevin is working on fixing a fitting, there he is. A fitting on one of our trucks is about to throw a battery disconnect on our Oshkosh and I'm about to pull our freight liner in here. We had it brought down here and there's also three Western plows on it that I gotta use our forklift here and pull off real quick. All right guys, so we got one plow set up here. I'm about to pull this truck in and throw this plow on. We also have to throw this one on as well. We just changed the headlights on this one because these old headlights, where did they go? I had them right here. What? Green bucket in the garbage. Look at these things. They were taped together. This one's all smashed. So we got an extra set that we had to replace them. So these are in much better condition. These ones, the same thing is happening. These take a lot of abuse and with all the bouncing on the road, they start to separate the bolts or, or the screws that are in here back out. And that's why they're taped. So at least one of them has a new set on, but unfortunately this headlight is destroyed as well and this one is also cracked here so we don't really know how this happened so that one we definitely don't know how that happened because the casing or the housing is all in perfect condition but anyway let me move my truck pull the other truck in we'll throw this plow on and then we will throw this plow on all right let's uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna turn the lights on and everything go up and down but Make sure nothing's
All right, guys, so this truck is just about done. We need two fittings for the power angle hoses here just to connect them to the truck. So either me or Rodrigo is gonna run tomorrow and grab those fittings and get this all buttoned up. Then we can pull that out. We went to throw this plow on and we didn't realize, but this pin here, that's a bolt right now, but there's usually a pin like that in here this pin wasn't even in there and we had no idea we didn't check that before we put it on because usually they're in there but we put it on went to angle it and it twisted the hose it kinked the hose hydraulic fluid came out and that's when we realized that the pin was missing so we took it back off the truck eventually we got it compressed enough where we could get that pin right in the right spot but we obviously well i should say bolted we obviously need to get a pin. So luckily there's a store right next to the hydraulic fitting store that we need to go to for that truck. So we'll grab that pin from there and then we can throw that on the truck. But also out here, we had our two loaders delivered from our Dutchess yard. One of them is right here. This is our 914 and then our cat is or our 908 is down at the mall that we do so both of those made it down here ready for the winter me and kevin are hopping in my truck we have to go up to our duchess yard and throw this fitting on a uh a big big propane air heater that we purchased the other day and see if it works i have it here one second have it right here this is the new one that we're putting on the old one snapped right in the middle of the threads here and obviously that's not going to work all right guys so we just put this heater together we have a propane tank here ran over what we had to add was these pieces of pipe here the one that we had was a single piece and it snapped in the middle of the threads but Obviously, you guys can't feel this, you can hear it, but it blows some serious hot air. This is uh, this is for an exhaust pipe, which we have there, which normally would be vented up. And then you run lines off of these into like a window or something to heat whatever you're trying to heat. So this thing works great. This is the first time we fired it up and within a minute it was making hot air. So. Now we can get this transported over to the Sparrow's Nest job one day and it'll keep them hopefully warmer while they're working there. But that is going to wrap it up for this one. Tomorrow I will be making a video on our new F600. We actually have to drop it off at a, a shop close to our main shop. So we're bringing that all the way down to Rockland tomorrow and then we'll see what the rest of the day has in store. But. Either way, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.